Hello everyone, welcome back. And today is Friday, April 24th, and it is the end of the week. And we've been doing Earth Week all this week. I did some things with me on Monday, and Earth Day was Wednesday. And we're going to do a little bit more today. I have another story for you, um, and we're going to talk about some things. Remember Earth Day, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle our trash, take care of our land, our water, and our air, and all the creatures that live in it. But before we start, let's always remember to do our prayers. Are you ready? I want to hear you praying. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, to make up for my sins, for the needs of all those for whom we pray, for the unity of all Christians, and especially for the intentions of our Holy Father, the Pope. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we love you. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. St. John Newman, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Put your hand on your heart and look at that American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And, as you know, our student mission statement is to serve God with loving hearts, joyfully embrace our Catholic faith, and nurture individual and academic excellence. And, as we always say, go Mustangs! All right, so Earth Day, finishing up Earth Day. Here's my Earth. Here's my United States of America. My upside down. Uh... Here we are, right, that big green one, that's where we are. We're, we're celebrating Earth Day, we're taking care of our Earth, and there's things that you can do. We've talked about those already, keeping your yard and your neighborhood clean of trash, um, and even little things, like turning off your lights when you're not in your room, turning off the TV when you're not watching it, or not running the water for a super long time when you wash your hands. Sometimes in our classrooms, someone never turns off the water at all, and it's just running, and that's wasting our natural resources. So we can do those things, and remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle your trash. Um, and today we're going to do something, another a really cool story, and have some good things that are going to be on today's blooms. So first things first, let's count. Let's do our fives. I'm going to switch you guys up soon to um, a different way of counting, but maybe in May. So I want to get done with these fives and feel like you guys know them. And then we're going to try something new. We'll see if we can do it, okay? Are you ready? I want to hear you counting. Count nice and loud. Let's see if you know it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. I want to challenge you in the next couple of times to maybe do it with your eyes closed and see if you can say the numbers in your head. Maybe you can, or maybe you're getting close. All right, so we have a new letter today. We did C last time for Cayetana. We did W earlier this week, and we've done letter O. We're finishing the letters and, the, and our letter card, our word cards that would be going on our word wall. Don't want to forget because some of the reference weren't up there. Today is a new letter. And we had one friend on Wednesday's letter. Today, we have three friends who have their names start with this letter. So, I wonder if some of you can guess, which of our letters has three friends' names? Does anybody know? I bet the people whose names start with this letter know what letter it is. I'm going to show it to you. Are you ready? It's letter L. Oh, oh. Letter L, and we have three friends in our class whose names start with L. So they have been waiting. So I'm gonna put them up there. Here's my first one. We're just in a stack. I'm gonna run out of room on this today. Here is our friend, Liam. I'm gonna put his little picture up there. You see him? That's Liam. Here is our second friend whose name starts with L, and it's Luciana. Can you see her? That's Luciana. And our third friend, not to forget this one, because he is just as important as Liam and Luciana, and it's Luke. Can y'all see Luke? There's his picture and his name. So 
we have Liam, Luciana, and Luke all start with L. L. Got a couple of words that also start with L with some pictures. See if you know what this word is. Lamp. Yeah, I have a lamp on in my room right now to get a little extra light. Here is another word that starts with L. A lot of you like this. It's an animal. Oops. His, he is a lion. Lion. Not the best art work, but it's okay. It's what I can do. All right. And here is the third one. And it is, I'm going to give you a hint. It's not sucker. This one is oops, lollipop. Lollipop. Sometimes we call them a lollipop. Sometimes we call them a sucker. I move things because I need to write some L words. So we have Liam, Luciana, Luke, Lamp, Lion, and Lollipop. And you take your tongue and put it behind your front teeth. Oh, and then make a sound. Oh, not in front, not on the bottom, but on the top. Oh, Luke, Liam, Luciana. So that's letter L. Now I'm going to do a little phonics. We're going to get some words. A couple of them that start with um, an L and, and one that ends in an L. Let's see if we can read these. Here is our first word. This is a good one. We all have these. In fact, we have two of them. Okay, here's our first with lowercase letters here. O -e -g. O -e -g. Leg. Leg. You have one leg. I hope you have two legs. Because that's what we came with. If you're missing one, well, where it went, because the last time I saw you, you had two. All right, here's our second L word. This is going to have a different vowel in the minute. Mil middle. First one had an I. This one does not have an I. It has a, um, the first one had an E. This one has an I. Ready? Full ip. Full ip. Lip. We have two of these. A top lip and a bottom lip. Full lip. Full lip. Good. Here is our last one. And this one ends in an L, and a lot of our words that end with an L, for some reason, have two of them. I don't know why, but it sounds the same. This is a D, a D, 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 O, D, O. Some of us like to play with a doll. So we have leg, lip, doll. So that's our letter L, and we are blending some words. Good job. We are doing that because you guys are getting ready to learn to write, which is super exciting. Some of you already can write words. So that is a very exciting thing to be able to do. All right. I don't want to waste too much time on our phonics, but very exciting to have three friends that have a name that start with this letter. I have a special story for you today. Um, and it has to do with Earth Week because it has to do with being outside. And it's not like the tree or curious to plants a tree because both of those are on the land. This one has to do with a place that is wet. It's not the ocean, it's not the lake, but it is a pond. And we have ponds in our area, which is just a small pool of water, nothing really giant. It's called The story is called Pond Walk. And it's a little bit long, but it's a great story about nature. And today's Blooms is going to have some nature ideas for you in it. So I wanted to read Pond Walk, and then you can go to my Blooms and see that I have some nature scavenger hunts for you to do. Um, and um, I think this will get you thinking about going outside and seeing what you can find. This book is written and illustrated. So the person who wrote the words and drew the pictures, her name is Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. So she's very talented. And it is called Pond Walk. All right, we'll get started. All right, let me see if I can see. I want to make sure I get this right. I'm going to turn my so I can get book the right place. All right. One summer morning, and we're getting close to summer, Mama asked, would you like to go to Pete's Pond for a pond walk? Yes, said Buddy. I like ponds. I hope I see a turtle. So here they are at the pond. It's kind of a brown pond. Mama parked the car near an old near an old iron gate. They followed the path to Pete's pond. You might have to take a little trail. The sky was blue. The warm summer air hummed with bug chatter. A butterfly 
Darted by. Do y'all see a butterfly on this page? It's by Buddy. It's over there. And this sign says, Welcome to Pete's Pond, Fresh Pete's Freshwater Pond. Enjoy your uh, visit. And that's by Pete. And the second sign says, Ponds can become deep very quickly, so be careful. Please respect all animals and plants. That when we're respecting animals and plants means we're not taking anything from them. Ducks and geese were making lots of noise. Quack, 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 honk, honk, honk. Buddy called back, quack, quack, honk, honk. Black bugs were twirling around and around in the surface of the water. What are those, Buddy asked. We're gonna learn about a bug. And it's right here. Mama got her field guide out of her backpack. A field guide is a book of information. They are whirligig beetles, she said. Whirligig beetles, said Buddy. Mama read, whirligig beetles have eyes with two parts so they can see above and below the water at the same time. Buddy took his drawing pad and colored pencils out of his backpack. Would you draw the eyes on my pad, he asked. So Buddy is going to draw something. They sat on the grass and drew. Croak, croak, what's that? asked Buddy, but this also said, here's a picture, and if you look carefully, you can see, I'm trying to get it over there, the eyes that are half, half above the water and half below the water, so they can see at the same time. Mom would draw that, and he drew the whirligig bugs, and that means they go in a circle, and it says, whirligig beetle eyes can see above and below the water. So then he hears, croak, croak, what's that? asked Buddy. What goes croak, croak, boys and girls? Yep, you see it? Buddy moved slowly toward the sound. The croaking stopped. He touched, he crouched down, but what he saw hopped away. Mama, Mama whispered, what was it? And Buddy drew a picture on his pad and he showed it to her. A frog, said Mama. Mama, said Buddy. Yes, Bud. How did the frog feel when it hurt? its leg. How, she asked, and he said, very unhoppy, and they both giggled. Buddy likes to tell jokes. You hear some more, and they walked along the edge of the pond. So he is drawing some pictures as he's on his pond walk. You could do that too. Look, cattails, said Mama. The bump looks like a hot dog on a stick, said Buddy. Does that look a little bit like a hot dog on a stick? I think it does. Like a corn dog. It does, said Mama. The bump part is thousands of flowers pressed tightly together. Really, asked Buddy. Yes, said Mama. By the end of the summer, the bump will break apart. The flowers will may have made seeds, and the seeds will be scattered by the wind. It feels funny, like a cat's tail, said Buddy. Buddy drew, and he giggled, cattail. Now look at Buddy's picture here. He drew a cattail plant the bumpy part at the top, and then he drew a cat and wrote cat tail. And of course, his real has a real tail, which is kind of funny. Then he drew some other plants. Buddy got his magnifying glass out of his backpack. You can use a magnifying glass to see small things. We've done that in our classroom. All right, here we are. They walked over to look. Green dots, said Buddy. Mama found the plant in her field guide. They're duckweed. Duckweed, said Buddy. There are these little green dots right there. See them? Mama read, duckweed is a mass of tiny plants that grow really fast. They have floating roots. Strong wind can blow the, the plants around the pond. He's looking at those roots and the plants with his magnifying glass. Buddy blew. Some duckweed floated onto his fingers. I see tiny roots. Mama kept reading. Water birds eat duckweed. Well, one kind of water bird really, really like it. Ducks, shouted Buddy. That's right, said Mama. The sun's warmth and light make the plants grow. Plants are food for lots of pond animals. Did you say food? asked Buddy. I'm hungry. Let's eat. So ducks eat duckweed. That makes sense. So they're going to have a snack. They found a bench and had a snack. Mama, what did the little duck want for its snack? 
What? Duckweed and quackers. And they both laughed. Let's go find some more things, said Buddy. And they're actually having crackers. Okay, now they're over here. They walked along and looked at the pond. Water lilies, said Mama. Their leaves are floating too, said Buddy. But water lilies have roots that go all the way to the bottom of the pond in the mud, said Mama. And long underwater stems. Where there's lots of rain, when there's lots of rain, the water in the pond rises, goes up. And the lily pads go up too. Then I think that when the water goes down, the lily pads go down too, said Buddy. I think you are very smart, said Mama. Suddenly, Buddy stopped. What do you think he saw? Is that a dragonfly? Mama looked at the field guy. See this on his arm? It's a damselfly. Buddy held very still until the damselfly flew away. Mama read, you can tell a dragonfly and a damselfly apart when they land. Dragonflies land with their two pairs of wings outstretched. Damselflies land with their two pairs of wings folded close to their sides. Look, said Buddy, on the lily pad. So that one actually you can see the wings are kind of pulled in. Now look on this little pad. Here's one where it is all outstretched. The li lily pads make great landing pads for da dragonflies and damselflies, said Mama, and islands for frogs and shade, shade umbrellas for fish. Can you see the fish underneath the lily pads? Buddy started drawing. You can see he's got a dragonfly there. Mama read, dragonflies have big eyes that color, cover most of their head. Their eyes allow them to see in all directions. They can fly forward and backwards, and they can stop and hover like a helicopter. They can fly so fast, they can use their legs and feet to catch other flying insects to eat. Did you say eat? asked Buddy. I'm hungry. He's hungry again, but they've been busy. They spread a blanket on the grass and unpacked their picnic. Buddy made the buns, celery, tomatoes, and carrot sticks into sandwich turtles. See how the sandwich looks it's like a turtle? If you got the circle roll. Then he asked, Mama, what kind of drawing pad do you use at the pond? What kind? A lily pad. And Mama laughed. He told another joke. After lunch, Buddy picked up a stick and drew in the dirt. I hope I see a real turtle. Let's go back to the edge of the pond and keep looking, said Mama. He wants to see that turtle. The pond bottom was mucky. It means it's kind of dirty and thick. I see pebbles. I see something brown. It's moving, shouted Buddy. Mama yelled, scoop it up, quick. I see something down here. Can't see it yet, but it's over here. My finger's almost covering. Buddy scooped. A salamander, said Mama. Look at its tiny front toes. Buddy counted them. Its skin is so soft, it's very wiggly. Buddy put the salamander back in the pond. Back to your home. He's kind of small. Can you see them there? They're not big. I've seen some in the Smokies. When a salamander walks, it spreads out its toes, said Mama. When a salamander swims, it pulls its toes together like a fin, said Mama. Buddy drew on his pad. He wrote salamander. Do you think there are any turtles in this pond, he asked. There probably are, said Mama. Let's look on the tree limbs that have fallen in the water and on the tops of rocks. So they packed up and walked on. He's still looking for that turtle. Buddy saw something and he stopped. Bugs zip, zip, zipping all around. They're in the water. They're tiny, tiny little marks. I don't even know if you can see them. There you can. Little bugs on the water. They're water striders, said Mama. The field guides said they are called, also called pond skaters. Buddy watched them. They have really long legs. I'm going to draw some pond skaters. And there's his picture of the pond skaters. Now, if you look here, he put little ice skates on this one. And he said, skates, ha ha, because they aren't really wearing ice skates, are they? How do they stay on top of the water, he asked. Mama read while Buddy drew. They are very light 
and skate on the water's surface. That's a cool bug. They kept, they kept pond walking and looking for turtles. Turtles are reptiles, said Mama. They can't make their own body heat, so they sit in the sun to get warm. But they're skittish. They'll slip into the water faster than you can say. Turtle, said Buddy. What do turtles eat? I think they catch bugs for lunch and flies for dessert, said Mama. Did you say dessert? Can we have another cookie, asked Buddy. He likes his treats just like you guys. They climbed up on a big rock. Mama, why are all the turtles, why are, are, excuse me, Mama, why are the turtles a good baseball player? Why, asked Mama, because he could catch flies. Why was the turtle a good ba ba baseball player? He could catch flies, Mama laughed. Buddy yawned. A cloud turtle, do you see the cloud turtle in the sky? He's resting and he falls asleep for a little nap. So he's sitting. And he's laying there. Do you see that? Turtle! And he takes off. You can see the tiny bit of the turtle left over going in the water. They're fast. I saw a real turtle! Mama smiled, and there he is, drawing a turtle. Nice art, said Mama. Time to head it on home, my young limnologist. Limnologist? What's that? asked Buddy. Someone who likes to climb, tr climb tree limbs? Nope. A limnologist studies and learns about ponds, mm. said Mama, just like you. As they walked back to the car, Buddy pointed. Mama, look, a huge, giant turtle, shouted Buddy. That rock looks like a turtle. Wow, said Mama. I think that is the biggest turtle in the world said Buddy. I want to make a rock turtle. That's a super idea, said Mama. And when they get, got home, Buddy did. So he did see a real turtle, and then he saw a rock turtle. And here's the neat thing of this story. And this would be something we might even do in school, is how to make a rock turtle. And some of you have painted rocks. I have a couple on my table that someone painted for me. You find a nice, round, smooth rock. Paint it. This one's painted green with dark spots. Then you can cut a head, four legs, and a little pointy tail and glue them to the bottom. And then they put their turtle on some blue paper with some green around it to look like a pond. So that's a cool art activity that you can do at home because I bet you have some rocks that you can use. So um, I like that activity. And if we were in school, we actually do make a turtle in school. So maybe you can do that at home. It's one of our activities we won't have a chance to do. All right, I've got a couple little songs I want to do that have to do with nature that are older songs that we know. Um, this one we learned really well, and it's an important song we think about. We don't think about nature when we're singing it, but we do think it is one of our better nature songs because it talks about the land of our country. So it is not super long, so let's do America the Beautiful because that's a good review. We like this one. <laughs> sing because you know this one. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Let me hear you. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountains majesty above the fruited plains. That's our land. America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. That talks about our country. Now I'm going to do a silly song that has some animals in it and we haven't done it in a long time. Where is it? Let me find it. I know it's on this CD and it's, I'm not going to do the ones I did last time. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I know you guys like this one. Down by the bay, a bay is water. You guys know this one. 
down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home i dare not go for if i do my mother will say did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home i dare not go for if i do my mother will say, this one is a stinger. Did you ever see a bee with a sunburned knee? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, moose. Did you ever see a moose kissing a goose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, well, did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, this one's dancing a jig, my mother will say, did you ever see a pig dancing a jig? Down by the bay. I know you guys like that one. I like that one too. It's silly. And a bay is a body of water. And it's part of nature. So I thought, I don't need to do the earth is our home. We'll do some other nature songs. So we're almost out of time. Um, and I want to do, because we're still, again, in Easter season. So, oh, I'm getting close on time, but I want to be done. We did our story. I want to do Jesus Lives um, because we are learning it. I'm hoping that you are learning it better and better. That's the song and the story of resurrection of Jesus. And I don't want to forget about what we've been learning about with Easter. So let's do um, Jesus Lives. We've been learning. Jesus Lives, Jesus, Jesus Lives Today is how it starts each verse. Jesus lives, Jesus lives today. He is the Lord and he lives today. Jesus lives to show us the way. Jesus lives today. Jesus lives, Jesus lives today. In you and me, Jesus lives today. Jesus lives to show us the way. Jesus lives today. Jesus lives, Jesus lives today. Where there's love, Jesus lives today. Jesus lives to show us the way. Jesus lives today. Good job. I bet that's getting easier and easier. Keep singing it. Keep learning it. And next week we're going to do something different. We're done with um, Earth, Earth Day and Earth Week. Um, but make sure you do take care of your home and look on blooms today because I'm going to have some outdoor activities for because we're enjoying our earth in this nice weather. I've got a couple of really good things and some scavenger hunts and I think you'll really, really like them. Have a great day. Have a great weekend and know that I miss you and I love you and I know you're all doing great and I can't wait till we can see each other again. Bye-bye.